Hi, I'm Dr. Boschnik, and I've been in practice for many years. And since LASIK was first introduced in 1993, I've seen thousands of patients who've lost quality vision because of LASIK. And some of the issues that uh, my LASIK patients have uh, experienced include chronic dry eye, ocular pain, uh, halos, starburst, glare, double vision. In addition, many of my patients have suffered from chronic depression. And in addition, some of these patients with, us with depression have even verbalized suicidal thoughts to me. And um, based on everything I've seen over the years, my suggestion is LASIK is, is an unnecessary elective surgery. Don't do it. Get, get a good pair of glasses, shoes, but stay away from LASIK surgery. Hi, my name is Stephanie and I got LASIK in July 2015 in Arcadia, California. And for the first four years, I had no issues aside from dry eyes. And then in June 2019, my vision regressed. I started seeing a lot of glare, halo, starburst. I had night vision issues, um, lights, extreme light sensitivity. I didn't know that LASIK issues could have happened years down the line. Nobody told me that. Um, for example, I have double vision and um, ghosting. And um, the only chance I have of fixing that is wearing scleral lenses and they're very expensive. Um, I can't see up close anymore like I did pre-LASIK. Um, and yeah, I do regret getting LASIK. I do not recommend that you get LASIK because issues could arise years after you get it. My name is James and I'm from Connecticut, United States. I had PRK, ended up developing a bunch of horrible complications from it. These complications include dry eye, loss of best corrected refractive power, light sensitivity, excessive glare, halos and starbursts around light sources, decreased contrast sensitivity, night blindness, double vision, eye floaters, staticky vision or visual snow, and trailing images. All these issues together leave my vision highly distorted and it makes doing simple things extremely difficult. The surgery was the worst mistake of my life and has caused me an extreme amount of anxiety, depression, and PTSD-like symptoms. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars trying to find some type of relief or fix for these issues and there has been little that has helped. I wish I could go back and not have it. I'd give anything to not have the surgery. I'm Linda Kostruski and I had LASIK in 2000. Um, within a month, my vision was blurry again. So I went back to the surgeon and he suggested getting a second LASIK procedure. I let him do it. Uh, within three weeks or so, my vision was bad again and within a year I was back in glasses. My vision progressively kept getting worse and with, about three years later, I went to a corneal specialist. He diagnosed me with post-LASIK ectasia, which basically LASIK thins and weakens your cornea, which can cause bulging in the cornea surface, like a weak spot on a tire. And this was happening to my cornea. My vision was just gonna keep getting worse. So I was fitted with some specialty contact lenses that were hard. This was the only way I was going to be able to see. I uh, wore those for a while. To one of them gave me a corneal abrasion on my left eye. I could no longer raise contacts anymore. So we never found anything that worked very well that would give me any lasting vision. So for three years, I didn't wear anything in my left eye. It was my right contact only. I uh, finally got sick of that and my cornea doctor and we had a discussion and he said, maybe it was time to get a transplant. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So in 2013, I had a transplant. In 2015, I had a rejection. This is the most painful, terrifying thing you can go through 
Well, you're able to save my cornea by using steroid drops, but now I am have to use these for the rest of my life or my cornea will reject. The dry eyes that you get from LASIK, they don't go away. I'm 19 years post-op and I still have horrible headaches, dry eye pain. I spend so much money on eye drops, ointments, supplements. All my contact lenses are not covered by any sort of insurance. Anything you do here is out of pocket. Even the contacts I have now, which are specialty scleral lenses, I have to pay for these out of my pocket. I can't be corrected with glasses. I have to be sure I don't wear my contacts too many hours a day because I could wreck my transplant. I could hurt the other right eye that is my strong eye. When my contacts are out, I can't see anything. I can't read. I can't watch TV. I'm just, life stops. Well, my husband has been my biggest supporter. He's lived through this with me. He helps me as much as he can. I honestly don't know if I would be here today if I didn't have him in my life. I just want to say this is no way for anybody to have to live. Pain and just, is just terrible. Hi, my name is Christina Wiley and I live in Springfield, Missouri. I had LASIK in 2010. Uh, approximately two days after my LASIK surgery, I had some visual disturbances in my right eye only and flashes of light. I immediately called my LASIK doctor and went to his office to be seen. Uh, to make a long story short, over the next five years, I had five uh, different retinal detachment surgeries. After each one, I had to do 10 to 14 days of face downtime to try to save that retina and that eye. On the fifth surgery, I had a choroidal hemorrhage, which caused me to go blind in my right eye. Um, for two years, I didn't have much pain. I just uh, was getting used to being monocular and dealing with depth perception problems. But after that first initial two years, I started to have quite a bit of pain from the low pressure in my bad eye. Um, this is a picture of me with my bad right eye, and it is obviously much smaller than the other. Um, I did finally make the decision after I had been put on pain meds for approximately two years. I was on tramadol for constantly, twice a day, most of the time, to deal with the pain and the um, from the low pressure in that eye. I did decide to finally have the eye removed and went to Barnes Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, this is me in the hospital about to have the surgery. This is afterwards um, during my recovery, a few days post-op and a little bit more bruising. And then about eight weeks later, I had a prosthetic eye made. This is me, this is me with my new eye. I obviously don't recommend having LASIK. I'm the wife of a physician, and we thought that it was a safe, safe practice. It is not. So I just urge you to research and decide for yourself. LASIK can lead to terrible, terrible consequences. My name's Matt. I had LASIK in 2015. It was the worst decision I've ever made in my life. It left me with corneal neuralgia, which is nerve damage. My eyes feel painfully dry all waking hours. Imagine living with a tooth, toothache that will never go away or can't be fixed. And by the way, this is an outcome that was never mentioned by my doctor or my consent forms. My LASIK doctor was a top credentialed in Philadelphia, Ivy League graduate in fact. I thought if I spent top dollar and went to a good doc, nothing could go wrong. The problem is no doctor in the world can tell who's gonna have a bad outcome. Don't be fooled by anything they tell you if you've already had a consultation. In fact, when I had mine, it was explained to me, sorry for the crew drawing, but the eye that would cut this flap that would come up here, they would do the surgery on the eye and the flap would be put down. But what they don't tell you is that the eye, the cornea, that clear part of your eye is the most, one of the most unnerved parts of the human body. And all those nerves are going to be severed in that process. 
So when that flap comes down, these nerves are severed. And whether your nerves are going to grow back to normal or functioning levels is a roll of the dice. I would say keep your glasses. I wish I did. I would go back in a second. Hi, I'm Ian. I'm from Manchester in the UK. I had LASIK in November 2017, which turned out to be the worst mistake of my life. As a result of the surgery, I suffer from severe dry eyes, which means I'm on a constant feed of artificial tears, prescription um, medicine, uh, eye drops to help me to manage those symptoms. Also suffer from corneal hyperphagia as a result of the damage done to the nerves in the cornea by the, the LASIK surgery. I also have um, starbursts, halos and a few other symptoms. It's also had a massive impact on my mental health, which is something you don't ever consider when you have some surgery like this. I now have anxiety, depression and PTSD. I never had any mental health issues prior to the surgery. I cannot recommend any form of laser eye surgery, LASIK, PRK, LASIK, SMILE or anything else they call it, care to call it. Avoid it at all costs. Love your eyes, love your glasses, love yourselves. Do not do LASIK or any form of laser eye surgery.